Hello my lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be having a play with the Shayla X Colourpop collab. So this one here I've got the Perception palette, I have got the gloss that she came out with and I've also got one of the lipsticks, one of the luxe lipsticks that she also came out with. So first off in the collection, the collection consisted of eyeshadow palette, three luxe lipsticks, a lip gloss and two highlights. I didn't get the highlights because they did look like they would be a little bit too dark for my skin tone, uh, which is fine. They would suit more of a medium to deep skin tone, whereas I am late. So I didn't get any of those. I did get the eyeshadow palette and these are the shades in it. Very pretty. I am very excited to work with them. There is four matte shades and the rest are all shimmers and there's two that have more of like glitter reflex in them. This one here and this one down the bottom. But yeah, there's four just like more of a neutral sort of mattes which is fine. It also comes with a mirror which normally the Colourpop eyeshadow palettes do not come with a mirror but Shayla is very um, vocal about the fact that she likes mirrors in her palettes and also the names on the front of the palettes underneath the shades which I have to agree with because reading it on the back is very confusing because some companies mix them around like flip them and other companies leave them as like how you're looking at them and then there was three luxe lipsticks which are these little guys and they've got little star imprints all around it. So this one here was the shade, I got the shade Quickie, which is the nude. It's more of like a peachy nude um, shade. It's pretty. And there was also two others that I didn't get. They are $7 each. And then she came out with a gloss as well. And this one here is called Neat Freak. And it is so pretty and sparkly. Um, and this one here was $6. So, yup. Um, so we're going to start with the eyes today, obviously. So because we did a super colourful look and I'm going to be inserting that, I think we're going to use more of the neutral tones. I maybe want to use this green shade here, which is called IE. I love green tones like this. I've already primed my eyelids with the, um, no, the Colourpop no filter concealer, um, in the shade light neutral and I've already set that. So we're going to go straight in with a transition shade, which the only real um, transition shade in here for my skin tone is Culture, which that's fine. It's more of a peachy, um, a peachy nude. We might put the hair up so it's out of my face. Okay, so we're going to take Culture first. There is a little bit of fallout when you press into the mattes, but that's pretty standard for most mattes. But make sure you tap off your brush so you're not getting fallout all over your face. So I'm just going to pop that in the crease to start. Mm, so we've got something to work with. That's pretty good. I'm going to take Played Out, which is this deeper one here. And we're going to pop that on the outer section. That one's got, make sure you tap that one off. Uh, I'm just going to deepen up that outer section. The mirror on this is quite good, I might use that. It's a really nice shade, I like this one. But yeah, last time I used the orange, pink, and blues. This time I'm going to use more browns, golds, and greens. And there's still like some smoky ones in here too, that I haven't used. Sassy looks nice. Look at Sassy. It's one under IE that we're going to be using today. Oh, pretty. It's like a jewelry chrome one. We're going to take IE. So I'll try with a brush first and we'll see how it goes. So IE is the green, the green that I wanted to use today. There. Picks up quite nightly silly on the brush. I'm not going to tap the shade off. Shimmers feel. Oh, yeah. Ooh. That applied quite nicely with the brush. 
See if we can get more payoff with the finger. I know about the same. Oh, these are my tones, my tones. So I'm just gonna press that all over the lid. Ooh, pretty. That's actually applying really nice with a brush. Okay, so I'm going to take my no filter concealer and we're going to pop that in the center. I'm just putting it on a tray so it doesn't absorb into my hand and then I'll forget it's there and then it'll get all over my pretty Barbie shirt, which I didn't want. No, thank you all. Take a little bit more of IE the green to just press lightly on the sides to fade it in nicely. I'm going to take a smaller brush and we're just going to pop that transition shade just above it to define the outline a little bit more, very lightly. Alright, now we're going to take our same concealer brush and we're going to go into Diva. This one here. And we're going to put that just on the outer section first. Take a little bit of TF and just gonna pop that just over it and blending it back into the green. Look at eight. Now we're going to lighter one, which is spill the tea. There. I'm going to pop that in the top section. It might be a little bit too pink. I'm going to put unbothered, which is more of the white gold shimmer up the top. Just over that. We've got a little bit of fallout, but it's not a lot. Hmm. Not too shabby. Just going to repeat that on the other side. So I'm just going to press a little bit of that darker eyeshadow that we used on the outer section, played out. Um, just on, and do I have an angled brush? Oh no, I didn't. So I'm just going to press play it out along the lash line. Because I'm not going to wing it out today, I'm not going to eyeliner it today. This is a really good mirror in here. Good job, Shayla.
along the bottom lash line, I'm going to take um, plate out and I'm just going to very lightly run it under the lash line. I think I might put a brown eyeliner. Okay, I'm just going to take my Pixie Endless Silky Eye Pen and I'm just going to run that in the waterline. Culture, the transition shade there. And I'm just going to run that just below it to shadow it a little bit. take a small little brush and we're going to put unbothered the white gold shade this one here in the inner corner it looks white in the pen oh it might put a little bit under the brow as well because fun oh oh that's nice there Yeah, it looks very white in the pen, but when you put it on, it's one of those shades that goes on that light gold. Now, I really like that eyeshadow palette. The only shades I haven't used now are Titus, the grey one up the top, and Shade, which is the one that's got the glitter. I really want to use that one. That looks fun. And Revenge over here, and Strut and Slay. Oh, and Sassy. So I haven't used one, two, three, four... Five, six. I haven't used six shades, but I've used ten. Um, and out of those ten, I really like them. The um, mattes go on really nicely and pigmented. They're not... You don't need much to build them up. They go on very strong. You do need to tap your brush off to make sure you're not going to get fallout, but that's pretty standard with most matte eyeshadows. That's not an issue for me in any way, shape, or form. Um, the shimmers, they actually went on really nice with a brush too. The only ones I felt I had to wet were the lighter shimmery ones that I put in the center that green went on beautifully without any without the brush being wet and without using my finger lovely and I really love that green that's a really nice shade so I'm just going to pop some lashes on and I'll be back to do the lips okay lashes are on I used my fabulous flutter lashes which are like my favorite lashes okay so we're going to pop on the lux lipstick in quickie so as i said before it is a peachy a peachy nude shade i'm more of a movie nude person but it is very pretty so we'll see if it goes with this eye look i am going to line my lips first though with the nyx suede matte lip liner in the shade soft spoken now let's put the lipstick on It's quite a peachy, peachy nude. Um, if you've got warm, a warm skin tone or a medium skin tone, I think this would look really, really nice on you as a nude. For me, it's a little bit too peachy, so to, for me, it's more like a peachy shade. Actually goes quite alright with the eyes today. And then the last thing, which... Gloss! I love gloss! So I really like the shade of it. And the... The little um, specks of glitter in it. Obviously, if you're putting it over the top of a normal lipstick, it's going to come off on the one. Personally, it's not a big deal for me. It is a really nice lightweight gloss. It's not feeling sticky on the lips. It doesn't feel like it really, it feels more like an oil-based um, gloss, I guess. And it's very comfortable. I think it would look really nice on its own over a matte liquid lipstick. So many possibilities. Overall... I think if you brought anything from the collection, you're not going to be disappointed. It's a really great um, collection. The eyeshadow palette and the gloss are my favourites. The lipstick is... Uh, it, the formula is really nice. It's just the colour is just a little bit um, 
too warm for my usual preferences but these two are life I love them so that's it so I have inserted obviously the other eyeshadow look we did so I hope that you've liked one of my eyeshadow looks I did with that palette and that's it so I really hope to see you guys in my next video bye